So how can we install any game from Fit Girl Repack? Whether it has optional files or not, whether it has English pack or not, we will discuss all these things in this video. So you have to watch the video till the end. So first of all, you have to do this. Go to Start and write Defender. This window security will come. You have to click on it and click on Thread and Protection. And here in the Manage Settings below, go to the Virus one and this Real-Time Protection section, you have to turn it off. I will also tell you why I have turned it off. You have to turn it off. Now, games are of different types. For example, this is a game. In this, you do not find any file of English, meaning this game is by default English. See, now I open this setup of it. So let me explain it to you properly first what I'm talking about. So you have to click next and you will see here that if its main file is checked and there is no tick named English here, it means it does not have an English file. So you do not have to worry that if you say that now there is no English file in it, then its audio will not come. That happens in some games which have English file, but you do not get that file. Now I will tell you which game it is. Now I have canceled it. Now I will show you an English game in which there is an English file. Like I have got this game, so I am opening its setup. You can see that we have this English file, so I will show you what option comes in it. Now I have to install it. So see, in this its main file is checked, and its English file in VoiceOver is checked because we have this English file. It is checked from here. Now, if you uncheck it from here, the sound that your character speaks in your game will not come to you. If your game is installed, the first thing it will not install will give an error. If it is installed by mistake, then when your character speaks, the sound will not come. Subtitles are also inside it, and this bonus content is also the same thing. I do not recommend this. These are optional things. This should not be done, but this English comes in selective. Selective means that which files come in the minimum files of the game that you have to do. These files come in them. This is the folder of MD5. These are from one to six or whatever number of files are there. And this is in selective. And this one is of English. This happens in some games. It happens in those games which do not come in English by default. Now we have to check this. After checking this, we have to uncheck them, because if these three remain checked in any game, then you will need the internet. So mostly your PC is already updated, so there is no need to do this. It is natural for you to keep it checked. Is it okay? Now I will cancel it. Now let me give you an example of an optional. Now in GTA 5, there are optional files, so I am running it set up first, and in this, you can see that the main files are checked, and where is the bonus one minute folder below? This bonus file is also checked, and this natural vision evolve is also checked. This will be checked only when you have caught this file from the website. If you have not, then it will come here like this, and it will be unchecked. If you had this file, then it will come, you can check it from here and also uncheck it. Now this game is also English by default, you will not find any English file in it, so do not take tension when you are doing the game. Now, if there is any bonus file or English file like the voiceover I told you about, then if you uncheck it from here, you cannot reinstall it. Meaning you can say that I will add it to the game again in some way, you cannot do it. You will have to reinstall the entire game and check it from here. I am giving an example of this bonus here that if it was English here, you could have unchecked it. Then if your voice is not coming, your game has been installed without any error and you are not getting the voice of the character, then you have to reinstall that game by checking it from here. Otherwise, whatever thing is given by Fit Girl here in the option, you cannot install that thing separately. You have to install it from here after reinstalling the game. And these things which are below, this update DirectX, you can do it from the internet anyway, there is no tension about them, so you have to keep these things in mind before doing it. I have shown you this earlier also by going to such properties. So here you have to select this Windows 7. This has to be done as an administrator. And after checking this here, you have to open the application and press OK. And also go to security and click on edit and give full permission to every user like this. After giving permission like this, I am running this setup to show you so it has been run. Now those who have around 16 gigabytes of RAM can keep it unchecked. So by clicking next from here and then next again, now all these drives 
All of them are my HDD normal drives. This C of mine is my SSD. So you can keep your setup in any of these three, whatever the format of your game is, keep the setup in it and install it in your SSD. You will get very good install time because their read write speed is up to 100 to 2500 MB and it gets reduced with time in SSD. And the lowest SSD has a read write speed of at least 500 MB. So you should try to install games in the SSD that is in your PC, then your games will get installed quickly. So now, for example, I don't have space in SSD, and I have already installed this in SSD. Let's see this, let's see this, it is lying with me. Now, for example, I have to install it and assume that this is SSD. I have clicked OK. Now from here, I have come to next. Now here, if I want to install bonus content, then I will keep a check. If I don't want to do it, I will uncheck it. And for this Natural Vision Evolve, people are facing a lot of issues. It crashes the game. So you should think about this too, if you want to install it. So you have to check it from here. If you don't want to do it, then uncheck it and put it on install. During installation, what happens is that the usage of your Defender increases because it is trying to stop the game which is getting installed, but it cannot stop it, but it slows down its installation. So that is why you have to keep your Defender off. Now you have kept it off, your game will install. So now again, you go to this window security and go to threat protection, and again, go to its manage settings, and if you scroll down here, you will find exclusions. This is the option by which it will not scan any folder that you add in it. That's why you have to select yes from here, and now I will add that in it. Now this game of mine is lying in C, this GTA 5, I have added it by selecting the folder, now it will not scan it. It will not take any file, etc. from inside it. People's game setups get deleted. That is why, see, all my game setups are lying in F. So I have put it F in exclusion. I have put it so that it doesn't scan it. Now I will show you. See how many setups I have. See this. All these setups are there. These are saved only because I have told the defender not to scan it. When you do this, you have put it in exclusion. Now, if your heart agrees, then you go from here and turn the Defender on, nothing happens, it will not scan your game, and your game will also keep running, and there will be no issue in it. So, this was the whole procedure that I follow. Whenever I install any game,